Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you are having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Leo. Yeah, you have somebody um, definitely trying to get into your business or your energy or someone is definitely watching you. Let's see. Let's go. I just saw the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone that you could have had a long-term friendship or connection with. Wow. Justice is here. The King of Wands is popping out with the Emperor. So something could have happened in Aries season. You could be dealing with the Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, a Libra. Six of Wands is here. The Emperor, the Six of Wands, the King of Wands is out here. This has something to do with a masculine, possibly. Nine of Wands. Ten of Wands and the Magician. This could be someone connected to this masculine that is really trying to figure out who this masculine is going towards, the Six of Wands. That's what I feel is happening here. The Nine of Wands, yeah. Heavy fire sign energy. There's a masculine out here for sure. There's a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. And this person is headed straight for this Six of Wands. This person is determined to have victory and success with someone who already has their own victory and success. And I feel if you if you notice here, you see the Knight of Wands, the King of Wands to the Emperor. Someone here has made a decision to go through this spiritual um, upgrade and transformation of becoming the emperor. They could have started as the Knight of Wands. This person is getting more and more determined to be the emperor because they have the eye on the Six of Wands. And they made a decision about this. Somebody is in the background and they are heavily burdened. We're trying to figure out who, who is inspiring this masculine. Why, does this, why is this masculine making this decision? So this could be like an ex-lover or someone that's trying to figure out why did this masculine not manifest this way? It's because this masculine didn't have this type of energy when they were in this connection with this past person. This person has been inspired by this Six of Wands energy, by this particular feminine. And so now they have been inspired to make a change. Look, I'm... The star and the nine of pentacles. Someone is in this boss-like energy. And they have completely inspired this masculine to upgrade their life. And someone is in the background holding on to this masculine. Because they know that this masculine, look. Nine of pentacles. Slowly but surely, this, this um, masculine here is coming up with a plan for sure. And they're going to take their pentacle to add to the pentacles that this divine feminine already has. Somebody knows that. Four of pentacles. Somebody feels cheated that this masculine is not building this life with them. Yeah, you have for the world. Somebody is watching a person online. Somebody is watching someone work online. So if you have like an online platform or something, somebody is watching you nonstop. They're watching you nonstop. They see that you're going into some type of beautiful divine connection and they're watching it. They're watching and monitoring it heavily. Ooh. Cars just fell. We have here the King of Pentacles, the Hierophant, and the Two of Swords. Could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus or there's a Taurus that's watching you. The devil card. Somebody is either obsessed with this Taurus energy or this is a Taurus that is obsessed with doing this. Yeah, look. The Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords. Somebody has nothing but good things coming for them. Capricorn energy is out here. The devil and the king of pentacles. Capricorn and Taurus is really heavy. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, and a fire sign. Sagittarius is out here. Leo, Aries. It's a masculine out here. This maybe a fire sign. Five of Wands. Yeah, there's a lot of conflict and drama here.
this could be several different masculines also trying to get um, the attention of this particular divine feminine. This person may be holding some. Okay, very specific. Someone has been withholding a lot of their. I'm gonna say sacral energy. Someone has called like all of their power back in, and they are doing a lot of manifestation for themselves. There are several different ma now. This could be one masculine, yeah, but this also for somebody. There could be several different masculines who are feeling a feminine come fully into their divine power. And it's making them extremely obsessed because they're trying to figure out where is this person's energy going. Four of Pentacles. Yeah, this feminine here is using all of their energy for themselves. They're not sharing their energy with these masculines who are energy vampires. They're, they're withholding this. Somebody could be practicing like abstinence or something right now. All of their sacral, creative, divine energy, though, all of this fertility and abundance is for this person. That's the reason why this person right now is showing up as a star in the Nine of Pentacles. I feel like also this divine feminine has already chosen like who they're going to. It may not be that they have a person already, but they already have an idea. It feels like somebody has just like very clean cut, cold turkey, cut everybody out of their life. I feel like I'm talking to a divine feminine. Let me know if this resonates with you in the comments. Somebody here knows exactly, because before I kept seeing the magician, somebody is extremely focused, determined, and fully aware of the type of person that they are trying to manifest. Maybe they've already manifested this person, but someone here has decided that because they know the type of person that they are trying to manifest or they know what type of lifestyle they're trying to manifest this person is being extremely intentional okay they're cutting everything out they're cutting all the dead weight out if you're in the nine of wands energy you're in and out you're cut off king of wands if you are you know very charismatic a smooth talker you're in and out if you have a um this King of Wands, he has his fist balled up. If you look as or seem as if you can be manipulative or easily angered or whatever, this divine feminine is just like, no. This person knows that this person does not want anything other than the emperor. If you do not match the energy of the emperor that they are manifesting, then they're not dealing with you at all. And this shift in this person's energy has been sent out and it's so strong and potent that I feel like it's making a lot of people very angry. I'm seeing somebody go through their phone and they're just blocking people. And this is causing people to become very obsessed because they're like, wait, what? Why, why did this person block me? Why can't I see this? This person, someone is going and they're blocking everybody in their phone, social media. And, and somebody's like, what, wait a minute. Because a lot of people have been feeding off of the energy of a person based on what they see. They watch them online based on what they see online. This person works online. Somebody does work online. And it, they're seeing that a person is in a relationship. They're happy. They're going into this two of cups sun energy. Someone is, is currently married to their work. They're married to their work. They're loving themselves. They are creating this sun. They're bringing the sun back into their life. Somebody is seeing this online. And whether you have a person in your life or not, somebody knows that this energy is about to attract this, this divine masculine. And it's got people very upset and, and obsessed. The Wheel of Fortune, Nine of the Cups. Yeah. You're at the top of the wheel right now, going towards wish fulfillment, happiness. Every, no, nothing but peace, balance, and harmony. Somebody could be taking a trip very soon. The Six of Swords here. Somebody also knows that they were the ones chosen by God, by their family, to do something very special this lifetime. Yeah. 
Yeah, three of wands here with the seven of wands. Someone is, is standing up for themselves and they're extremely protected. Ten of pentacles is in the reverse. Yeah, everything is fine. So someone is trying to come after anything that's supposed to bring a person like wish fulfillment or security or stability. Everything is fine with the empress. Everything is fine. It doesn't matter. And then here you have the king of swords and the king of cups. I just told you, these are these masculines. You have a king of swords, a king of cups, and the three of swords here. These people are heartbroken because someone has decided to open their heart up with all of the swords in their back. Someone is saying, it's fine. It's okay. I'm the divine feminine. I'm the empress. I'm going to love myself. Um, I'm going to find a way to balance all these things out. And I'm going to take a leap of faith and move in a different direction. Someone here has been standing in this very um, strong, resilient energy, trying to manifest like a new beginning here. Someone could be trying to manifest a new home, a new partnership or relationship. They've been trying to do this for a long time. And I feel that like someone is finally realizing now that in order to do that, anything or anyone in from their past, or that could even be from a past life that brings about confusion or an illusion, they have to let it go. Somebody here, I just heard somebody had a block party, three of cups here. Somebody has had a, in a block party as in someone went in and they just started blocking everybody. <laughs> Friends, family, lovers, somebody is turning down all their options. Someone is saying they only have space for exactly who and what is for them. If you are not aligned with this person, you will not get anything from them. Five of Pentacles, you will be left out in the cold. Five, five, five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. This person is leaving everybody behind. And you see this Three of Cups here? This could be friends, family. Nine of Swords, yeah. Someone has has realized their source of of stress, and they are, they're eliminating it. And these are people who are jealous and envious of this person's love, the love that they are about to receive, or that they have for themselves. This has a lot to do, honestly, with just somebody. It's and I, this is like the second reading. I don't know, ten of cups, ace of cups, ten of cups. I don't know. Who who this is, but it feels like somebody very st strong in my it is somebody watching my channel. Um somebody is, is being even like gang stalked or watched. Whoever this is, they're online. They're being watched and monitored closely. It's a very crazy, deranged person or energy out here that is saying that they have evidence or receipts on a person. You have the strength card out here. Somebody has the strength, though, to keep pushing despite all these things that's happening. And there could be a Leo that is upset that a person is receiving equal give and take, gifts, donations. This feels very specific. The Hermit card, the Hermit and the World. Oh, I have to be careful showing their World card. But somebody is watching a person online. And, and for some reason right now, I even feel like with this World card, Someone is watching a person online, but they are also doing some type of divination spying, and they're keeping a very close eye on an offer that this star nine of pentacles is receiving. The nine of pentacles and the hermit are two cards of Virgo. Aquarius. I don't normally say signs like that, but I feel the need to say the signs. It's a fire sign masculine out here. 
They don't have to be a fire sign, but they're very fiery. This person is very passionate. And I feel like this masculine does not play about this divine feminine. Somebody is watching something unfold online. But they're doing more than watching online. They're looking through some type of portal to gather more information. A distorted feminine copying someone's style. What is this? A narcissist. Oh, okay. So you have a distorted feminine that's a narcissist who it says likes how you dress, how you talk, how you look so much that they try to act like you. This person has an inflated sense of self-importance, com complete disregard for another's feelings, always needing attention. Sharp tongue. Yeah. Somebody could have red hair. This person on this card has red hair. You have your third party situation. What's this? Third house. How one processes knowledge, rules, communication, wants, generosity, and social life. That's what I'm saying. The six of pentacles. Somebody has a problem with, with the attention or the gifts that a person is receiving. So this is a sharp tongued narcissistic feminine that is interfering or meddling in someone's life. You have your controller and more than friends. Constantly needing control of people, things, and situations. More than friends. You got the little rainbow here. I don't, I don't know what that has to do with. Maybe this could be a woman who was attracted to another woman. Or someone is so attracted to has become so infatuated and obsessed with this other person that they consider a role model that it, it feels like a person is bashing a person that they actually are infatuated with. Someone who is an inspiration to others who receives. Yeah, this is about a person receiving a lot of positive recognition from a lot of people. And this feminine, this feminine here, you see how this lion is here? This feminine has this divine masculine in their energy. And they're also receiving a lot of gifts or attention from others. Six of Wands, this person is, is successful. And Six of Wands, this also a card of them possibly having a platform. Somebody is watching this online. They're, they're watching all of this abundance flow into this person's life. They're, they're doing divination spying as well. They found, somebody has, has found evidence that a person is receiving money or going into a union. And they want to control this situation. This is also somebody with narcissists and sharp tongue. This is someone that is doing, um, you know, you can curse a person with your tongue. Distorted masculine is out here. So you have a distorted feminine and a distorted masculine. Whoa. More than friends is out here. So you can have a feminine or a masculine that's saying that they're more than friends with a divine feminine energy possibly. But they're also spreading lies about this person who was a role model. Somebody is, is salty. Look, and caught in the act. I said, divination spying, ex-lover. There's an ex-lover out here who has been caught in the act of doing something. They're in some type of toxic connection, a distorted feminine and masculine. So this divine feminine could be the ex-lover of one of this masculine or feminine. I don't know. Power. But, did did y'all hear that? Like, I have a um like a <laughs> A uh, um speaker in here and it just said power off. <laughs> Maybe that's a I don't know. Maybe that's like some kind of that thing was loud. It said power off. Power off. Just as I was talking, this distorted feminine and masculine. They've been they've been caught spying on perhaps this divine feminine. They're watching this person online. 
and they're trying to assassinate this person's character or create burdens for them because this person is manifesting some kind of passion in the beginning. Whoever this feminine is, though, is some really toxic, controlling narcissist. Or this masculine could be an extremely narcissistic person. I mean, they're both narcissists. But this feminine is trying to copy the style of this divine feminine who is a role model and an inspiration to others who's receiving a lot of love and attention and abundance right now. And somebody is just salty because you're smart enough to pick up on what's going on. Yeah, this this couple, for some, they've gotten caught in the act. Okay, somebody has been spying, using divination spying. Or, or this card says someone is consulting the tarot to get information on you, getting readings on you and asking a psychic. Caught in the act, someone is being caught doing something they shouldn't, yeah. I don't know what's going on with this distorted feminine and masculine. For some, this is a couple. For some, these are just separate energies. But whoever has been doing divination spying on this intelligent role model so that they could try to copy them or block them in some kind of way, they're being caught in the act. Someone here has, this card says, this person has no filter. They're saying nasty-ish, has a tendency to say very critical things about people, a narcissist. Yeah, and see, narcissists, they, they will, you know, attack you verbally. But narcissists are very, are very powerful with their words. I mean, that's a lot of really dark, dark energy, you know, um, so you have to protect this is this is like a word curse. This person is cursing someone with their with their tongue. And that's what they intend to do. So th this person, whoever this sharp tongue narcissist is, they're doing divination spying. To get information on a person. And if somebody is in like a divine union, someone is trying to say that these two people who are in a divine union, someone is trying to say that they are distorted feminine and masculine and that they're not actually in a divine partnership. I don't know. It's just, it's a lot of lies here. And somebody is getting caught up because they're, they're literally making something good be terrible. Like very toxic and evil. Queen of Wands popped out. Oh, okay. So this could be a Queen of Wands. Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Or you could be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. Does it have to be? Somebody made an offer to collaborate with someone in some kind of project. Page of Cups, Ace of Wands, Three of Pentacles. And someone walked away from it. They turned their back and they said that they didn't want to do this. So somebody here could have turned a person down for like some kind of... It could be a collaboration or this could be... Oh my goodness. This could be a couple that tried to get like a divine feminine to be their third party and someone said that they weren't going to do it. You have the Queen of Cups, Seven of Swords, the Death Card, and the Judgment. A lot of Scorpio energy. We have a full moon in Scorpio right now. Page of Swords, Five of Swords, Eight of Swords. Yikes. That's a lot of Swords. Ten of Pentacles. High Priestess and the Hangman. Somebody is trusting their intuition to stay away from a particular person. Or they did. Like, the High Priestess, Hangman, Ten of Wands. Somebody trusted their... They felt like to deal with a, per, a person. Someone had an inkling that someone was trying to do magic or manipulate them in some kind of way. The Ten of Pentacles is in the reverse. Someone's intuition told them 
that to deal with a person that it, something was gonna go left. It was gonna turn out bad. I don't know. What this, this is too much. I'm getting like four different storylines in my head at one time. It's starting to get on my nerves. This feels like, and this is a couple, it's like a couple was trying to, obviously they wanted to use the energy of this divine. I feel like there's a very beautiful, successful divine feminine energy out here. It feels like there's a couple who wanted to work with this divine feminine, but they wanted this person as a third party or divine feminine was once in a relationship with like some distorted narcissistic masculine perhaps that person and whoever they're with literally was trying to bait this divine feminine into being like I said, like i don't know maybe in a poly relationship or some kind of business relationship or something and this divine feminine i feel walked away from this and was and 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 said no thanks Somebody did not want, somebody rejected an offer. They they moved away from this. They moved on. They could have, you know, went on to a new project. Yeah, the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles here, they went on to do something different. And this Queen of Wands here was has been in the background trying to destroy this Queen of Cups. This person is being judged, though. They're being caught in the act now for what they've been doing to perhaps this Queen of Cups. This very loving, caring, nurturing, like high priestess energy. This person's getting caught up now for what they did. And they could be going to jail because they st they stole something. They did something that they had no business doing. They could have stolen something. They definitely attacked someone's security, stability, their finances. Yeah, they were trying to have this high priestess delayed or, or sacrificed in some kind of way. And somebody has been carrying the burden because they did, somebody did some magic here. They definitely tried to hex or curse somebody or something like that. Whoever this um, witch energy is, though, this person is obsessed with this divine feminine. It feels like this person started watching or monitoring this divine feminine because divine feminine was once in a relationship with this narcissistic, distorted masculine. But then this distorted feminine here became very salty and upset about the fact that this toxic masculine was with someone that they feel is better than them. This person, they have a problem with divine feminine. And they're being caught in the act now for doing all this spell work or magic or divination spying. This person wanted to be more. I'm telling you, this is like a third party a woman who has become obsessed and even attracted to a divine feminine energy, but they have become aware of this divine feminine through their partner who was maybe once in a relationship with this person. I hope that makes sense. It's, it sounds very complicated, but it's really not. It's not. This is a woman competing with someone's ex. This person obviously has very like low self-esteem, but the reason why this is coming out so strongly is because whoever, whoever this divine feminine is, they're in the spotlight. They have a platform that you can act. There's this person is easily accessible. The six of wands, the world card, they're on the world wide web. You can see this person. So whoever this, you know, it, it's, it's, fairly easy for someone to stalk or monitor them because they're online. You know, any person that has a, a job, a business, or career where you're online, you know, as an influencer doing whatever you do, it doesn't have to be in the spiritual community. Your page most likely is going to be public, right? So unfortunately, that allows a lot of people to have access to you. Um, a lot of people will be on your page, leaving comments or or not even leaving comments or anything at all 
and they completely hate you. They're there watching you, stalking you. This is someone that stays hidden, though, with the Hermit card. They stay hidden, but they watch you online. And I feel like once this person realized that this Divine Feminine is a, a very inspirational and people really like this person, this person's getting attention and they're probably doing well financially, this person tried to copy this Divine Feminine, but they're a distorted feminine energy. And maybe if this is a couple, maybe they've broken up. That's why this feminine is really upset now. Maybe they feel like this masculine is going back towards this divine feminine or something. I don't know. Queen of Pentacles. And the Tower. The Moon, the Ten of Swords, yeah. And the Chariot, the Lovers. Whatever somebody did in the dark is being exposed with this tower. This is like a sudden revelation. Ten of swords. If somebody did something to betray a person. Yeah, because someone here is moving forward in some type of connection. And this is weird because this divine feminine could be going towards a new connection. Whoever this is watching them, stalking them on, they want to stop this person from going towards anybody. Like, whoever this third party is. They just have it out for this divine feminine. But see, that's what happens when you deal with a toxic, narcissistic, distorted masculine. I can guarantee you this masculine told this, the, this distorted feminine something about divine feminine that made them go after this person like this. This was, this was something all based on a lie and it's coming out. Somebody is about to get caught in the act. This this masculine created some type of storyline, a lie, or an illusion because they knew they was dealing with this crazy, distorted feminine that, with this sharp tongue. They knew, like, this is the kind of person, like, they they yell, curse, scream, fight. They just act a fool. These two people are, like, night and day. Sharp tongue, role model, but this person wanted to cop somebody's style. And I guarantee you, it was all because of this, this distorted masculine. This distorted masculine told this sharp-tongued, distorted feminine something about divine feminine who was a role model and very intelligent. And it made this person upset. This is someone who knows that like they're dealing with a crazy, a crazy lover. And they thought it was cute. But the situation, it has gone, it has escalated. It's gone too far because... Whoever this distorted feminine is, is completely obsessed with this divine feminine and is attacking this divine feminine's life in, in every way possible. Look, you see that stress. This person is online stressed out, watching and monitoring this person because they feel like divine feminine. This is the lie. This is the lie. Here it is right here. Thank you. This masculine told this crazy person that Divine Feminine broke their heart. Divine Feminine is just very confident in, in their Divine Feminine energy. This person went and did some kind of spell work or did something to attack this Divine Feminine based on a lie that this toxic masculine told them. Now this person is stressed out because whatever they've done, it's hitting them. It's hitting them tenfold now. They're, they're wishing that they hadn't done that. I feel like this person... Attack. So listen, this karmic feminine attacked divine feminine based on a lie that the narcissistic distorted masculine told them. This person has become now a fan of divine feminine. They're realizing divine feminine didn't break this person's heart. Divine feminine didn't do anything bad to this this masculine divine feminine just knew that this masculine was a fool and went on the other way now this person is very regretful and they're stressed out about what they've done because they've already sent something out in the universe to attack this divine feminine based on a lie and i guarantee you like in any other situation of narcissistic abuse whoever this distorted feminine is 
This person, they've seen the ugly side of this narcissistic masculine now. Now, they're like, oh, they realize they just got played by this man. This masculine started all of this. Now, whoever this feminine is, who has this really low self-esteem, this person thought that ma the masculine loved them because the masculine was talking bad about the divine feminine. When in actuality, the masculine was really hurt because divine feminine had the smarts and the confidence to leave them behind. So they went and lied on divine feminine to this low self-esteem, crazy feminine. This masculine went and found somebody that they knew would fight over them or, you know, do spell work. And they was like, oh, I'm just going to tell this witch that divine feminine, you know, did something really awful to me. This person then went and started attacking divine feminine. Now that the truth is coming out, that divine feminine is totally innocent and never did anything to this masculine. They just walked away. Now this person, they're, they're stressed out. They're upset. In fact, now, now they want to be your friend. <laughs> they want to be your friend now. They're like, hey. Some of you literally could be getting... Look at this. I'm telling you. Somebody now is like, you know, they, they would like to be your friend now. Or even more the friends. Hey, you know, could we work together? Could we, could we talk? Could you teach me how to be more like you? <laughs> Sweet dreams, self-love, yeah. See, I feel like this divine feminine loves themselves, is satisfied and happy with their life. This masculine went and chose a person who has really low self-esteem. This happened after some kind of breakup or separation. This person told a bunch of lies. Yeah. Blind. And I guarantee this masculine is pretending like they don't know what happened. They don't know what's going on. They know this is all their fault. And I, I feel like these two people, these um, this distorted feminine and masculine, I don't even think that they're in a relationship with each other anymore. And that's why this person is realizing, oh, I think I messed up. Someone out here could be um, with profession out here. Someone could, could be very good at um, self-love. Someone could be an influencer. You know, a lot of influencers are in, into, you know, what is very aesthetic and self-love and self-care. Somebody could do that as their profession. And they sleep just fine at night, right? But see, when Divine Feminine cut this masculine off and he could no longer spy on them... Because maybe you blocked this person or whatever. He went and told a lot to that feminine, that karmic feminine. And this karmic feminine was like, I don't know, because from what I see online, she seems like a really nice person. But she listened to this masculine. This masculine manipulated her into doing something stupid. And she did it. She did it. He he convinced this feminine that if you go and attack this divine feminine, you know. I will reward you with something. This divine feminine could be online. They could be a tarot reader because, you know, this is a tarot reader on this card. Yeah, somebody here is like, hey, I want you to go and gang stalk this person. Go and gang stalk this person. Cause a bunch of disturbances for them. Collaborate with other people to attack them. And, and we're going to go on a journey together. And that journey together led them straight to hell and being homeless. Now, now, now the, the feminine is like, wait, I shouldn't have ever attacked divine feminine because I'm out here suffering. Yeah. Justice. This person made someone a promise that they could not keep. And this was all about a third party situation. This masculine could possibly be in jail. They're definitely in spiritual jail. Mm. Well, that's that. I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> Wherever you are, continue being a role model and an inspiration to others. Don't be surprised if you are um, approached by someone you used to date, by their lover or their wife or significant other. This person now wants to apologize. They want to befriend you. They, they want you to help them. 
this feels for sure like a like a, a tarot reader or someone into some type of influence or work where someone is watching you. If they're not trying to come towards you, they're listening to what you're saying or the things that you're sharing and they're becoming inspired by it. So your biggest enemy and, atta and, and attacker is now inspired because this person is waking up realizing that they were tricked. They were tricked by distorted masculine. This masculine tricked this person into trying to become you. This man, what he was doing was trying to tell this person, you know, you, you just need to be more like divine feminine. Look at how divine feminine. He was using divine feminine as a way to make this person to challenge them. And this was a sharp tongued, distorted feminine. This could have been a feminine that was an ex to this masculine when you met them, but they were still dealing with each other. Yeah, that's what I feel. Man, this person was into spirituality, like into divination. But see, when you was dealing with them, they were a narcissist. So, of course, they were lying and cheating, dealing with multiple people. But see, you were the catch. You were the jackpot. But they were going out telling people, oh, yeah, you know, I'm dating divine feminine. They were telling that to these other people who with really low self-esteem only to hurt them. You know, and if you're dealing with someone very toxic with low self-esteem, if a narcissist goes and love bombs them and tells them or gaslights them about their ex, that person became infatuated in trying to be like the divine feminine. The whole time, though, this masculine was using this person so that they would attack the divine feminine. This person didn't even realize that they, they were literally being tricked and scammed out of this narcissistic, distorted masculine. And they were doing spell work. This person was definitely doing, either they were doing spell work or, like I said, they were watching a lot of, like, tarot readings about this person or something, trying to gather information. But somebody is seeing that the love that a person is receiving, they, they can't, there's no way they could be this toxic person that this man has made them out to be. And, you know, I'm picking up this relationship, but this is just in general. Yeah, three of swords. Somebody here was determined. They wanted to keep this man, this knight of wands, trying to hold on to somebody that does not need to be held by trying to block this divine feminine. But you're receiving justice for this. 